Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to the channel and today it's gonna compare it Superflux V2 high torque motor with uh, Future Motion GT I take both motor apart and here's the stators and the stators looks I mean big difference between them GT almost looks like as a baby stator from something from some kind of scooter it's a pretty small and quite light compared to Superflux also winding amount how much they put it a wire it's really impressive on the uh, super flux uh, not only that the size wise stator from super flux is 115 millimeter by 90 it's the same size as a canon core and uh, hyper core from uh, fisher motion it's 105 70 it's really shame they still use the same uh, stator from uh, XR from uh, even a pine I believe it's a technical just uh, axle slightly longer on a GT and that actually make this motor even weaker uh, plus uh, that groove for o-ring on a GT they cut it uh, like a half a millimeter deeper compared to XR and pine series board that's why uh, those axle snaps I mean much easier than XR or Pine. I never heard an uh, XR or Pine axle broke, but on a GT uh, There's a plenty of cases of those Of course uh, hypercore motor. I mean the axle itself It's much shorter. It's almost uh, Almost over a inch or an inch shorter You can tell plus the, the bearing seats really close to the end to break to snap this axle over here that's gonna be mission impossible otherwise the quality uh, the quality on the uh, future motion one all windings I mean the uh, looks nice and tight no loose one but my my motor is actually a good example I saw I mean good uh, or a good example of uh, decent quality I saw before on the internet uh, some guy took it his uh, GT motor apart and the winding was really really loose I mean really bad uh, I mean my, mine looks pretty good on other hand uh, winding from uh, I mean from uh, super flux like I mentioned in the previous video the quality wise is not is not good in my opinion really kind of out of alignment has a big gaps between wires look like probably it's a prototype or so I mean especially like over here I show I showed before uh, this winding was smashed I mean kind of like smashed it by I don't know by two by four or something this part is sticking like four millimeter compared to this side uh, probably my motor is a prototype like a pre-production version or so because I've been contacted contacted by a few other guys who has already motor from a fan engineer and they say in the winding mine looks i mean horrible them uh, motor inside looks much much better no nasty mess like that i hope it's a prototype and i hope no one's gonna receive it something like i got then speaking about uh face wires face wires actually on a gt i mean i'm pretty sure it's probably 14 gauges or so uh, but with uh, isolation looks slightly maybe slightly thicker it is slightly thicker than on uh, super flux but like I said they probably both 14 gauge wire then uh, the hull sensor board on a GT the board design the way they put it together uh, mounted only with two screws that's not the best design plus uh, like my motor was some um, hull sensor uh, starting point did come loose I have to restart it of course when something's happened like that it will crush it uh, this design wise probably is not the best plus uh, they didn't reinforce it behind with some silicone or epoxy make sure the board will not uh, movable what I did when I fix it I also glue its sensors to the metal armature itself to make sure it will not move back and forth on the other hand, uh, Superflux hull sensor, it has a much smaller board 
uh, coat it with silicone, make that case even moisture gets in, uh, probably will not cause any corrosion or anything because it's sealed. Uh, it, it's not mounted with with uh, screws because first of all the board is pretty small and there's there's no, nothing. Uh, I mean there's no way you can mount it. Pretty much it's holding with one zip tight and probably double stick tape no there's not there's no dub, double stick tape actually and if you apply pressure on one corner or another it's kind of moving it moves back and forth holy crap it's really heavy you guys i have to let me bring it a uh, ring like that uh pretty much it moves back and forth and that's not really good why i'm saying that because when the board vibrates uh hull sensor legs it will break it from behind plus when you take it apart and you have issue with sensors you not really can tell which sensor come loose because wires of from sensor wired i mean started behind the board not like gt gt it was much easy to uh check those wires and yeah, I mean, with, with magnifier you can tell which which one it broke loose or with voltmeter you can trace it and see if it's still connected with uh, super flux like i said will be much harder to troubleshoot it uh, for troubleshooting you will have to carry that zip tight flip it aboard inspect it in my opinion and that's what i was gonna do if motor works everything fine and i'm pretty sure brand new sh sh should work but you never know uh, what it's gonna do probably is gonna uh, at this, uh, apply some epoxy behind to eliminate that gap to prevent of uh, flexing because from from vibration those sensors will come loose eventually otherwise i quite like it the way it looks besides winding uh o-ring it has a dual o-ring one one uh, right where the bearing sit another one little tiny one it's right here on uh, uh hypercore from fusion motion there's only one bearing Pretty much i should give it some points to uh super flux i mean i'm sorry i say i call super flux yeah it is super flux <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> yeah long day uh for having a dual o-ring uh has extra point for super flux and uh, like i said i like it also i've been asked to check uh, threads i mean because there's some cases threads is too loose or so and what it's gonna do i'm gonna put it one bolt from GT and another one bolt the one come with uh, super flex itself and we will see which bolt and which hub will wobble more I'm gonna screw it in approximately same amount that case we we can I mean we can see it's kind of pretty close uh, effort let's see okay yeah pretty much both axles has the same i mean two sets of bolts and screws it same amount if you wiggle it back i mean side to side on a future motion bolt i mean the hub axle the bolt moves probably millimeter and a half or so Super, super flux bolt i mean the ac thread in the axle itself actually the silver bolt on a super flux motor wobbles much more the thread is looser than gt in gt motor and, and i mean super flux is brand new this one is, uh, has a thousand mile i took it probably like i don't know more than a couple dozen the thread should be on the fusion motion warehouse uh, more but fusion motion thread much i mean much better tolerant than uh, super flux yeah then comparing uh cap itself of course we all know uh fusion motion did switch it from xr to gt from 6 to 6.5 in my opinion that's a dumbest move they they ever done so far i'm pretty sure eventually and this gonna do such a, something even worse but so far uh switching from 6 to 6.5 that's a dumbass 
they probably been motivated by greediness and probably stupidity because six inch it's more popular um, there's a uh, tons of uh, tires available for six inch not for 6.5 6.5 there's only few tires available uh, two from future motion i mean i'm sorry yeah future motion uh, one from uh, flow life i believe endura and i'm not sure if anyone else make tire for uh, gt for uh, super flux there's a dozens and dozens tires you can get probably uh, the magnets i'm uh, i do apologize i don't have any equipment to test it pretty much uh, uh, for me it's kind of hard to determine which magnet will be stronger but i'm gonna do my own way <laughs> pretty much i was gonna stick it probably uh, i was gonna hold it fingers in the same spot uh allen key to one half and it's gonna try to lift it it's it's pretty strong magnet and same thing i'm gonna do on uh, super flux holy crap <laughs> i hurt myself anyway super flux motor uh magnets feels like much much stronger of course the way i did that's not the right way to do <laughs> you have to have a tester to test it but like i said uh, according to my crappy test i should call it the magnets much much stronger the covers uh, i mean fisher motion cover looks kind of fancy with those uh, fancy design uh, 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 it's kind of opening probably it's for uh, work as a cooling sink absorb some uh, heat uh, super flux on the other hand has those grooves on the hub itself it also works like a cooling sink uh, i mean they both strike i mean strike in my opinion same score uh, but uh, i more prefer the way super flux looks i mean if you look at the other side you can tell uh, well first of all it's a six inch and i love it six inch uh -huh. bigger wider uh, magnets more uh, magnetic feel that's gonna produce much much more torque well guys uh, pretty much that's all i got for this video i hope it was kind of interesting enjoyable if you guys did enjoy it uh, thumbs up if you don't want to miss any future videos subscribe we will be really appreciate thank you